what is the top league build for clearing content as quick as possible. Now this is actually something I've covered many times in trying to stop people from nerfing themselves to actually giving tips and tricks with Eclipse. Then moving on to the actual math of Eclipse and what actually works best mathematically. And then finally actually going over some top tier status builds. Eclipse is one of my favorite sets in the game. I've had so much experience with this set, even if that does sound like bragging, it is my favorite set. It is probably my most used set, surprisingly. And generally speaking, if I'm running around solo like a lunatic, I do tend to just stick with Eclipse. Along with the fact that it is very, very versatile and you can do so much with it. It is also probably the most powerful set when utilizing within the league speed run, simply just because they are either on hard or challenging. Now, the only caveat to this is I don't recommend, if you're going to do this, expertising either the Fire Starter Chem or the Burn Sticky, simply because this can actually hinder you in the long run and you've got to do a weird thing to try and compensate for it. Now, the standardized build for this is pretty simple. It's four piece Eclipse using the chest as well as the backpack. You want an electric, or if you can, or if you have one, a unicorn golem piece, at least status effect and skill haste on it, and then the vile mask. Now, this is the go-to setup, utilizing the chest and the backpack, like I said. I know a lot of people think Creeping Death is good here. It's not. It's a literal nerf of 30% end calculation damage. Eclipse Backpack is literally a 30% amp. This is the most powerful thing in the Eclipse arsenal, not including the spread as well as the refresh of the chest. Admittedly, the refresh and the spread of the chest is really what actually keeps Eclipse running, but the damage that the backpack gives you cannot be ignored, especially if you are going for league times. The backpack is literally god tier. Now within this, there are a few things we can do to mix things up a bit, because the one thing that this has trouble with, kind of, typically we are just looking at the utilization of Eclipse within the league. So like I said, these are going to be hard or challenging. So Chungas are going to pose a threat, but nowhere near as much as they would on something like Heroic. This build does work perfectly fine on Solo Heroic. It does struggle a little bit within multiplayer, but Solo Heroic, it works fine until, of course, like I said, you meet a Chunga or a Warhound. This is where the backpack is absolutely key because it's 30% to both your status as well as your weapons. Now, the weird thing here as well is, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I had both Capacitor and Test Subject on there. Capacitor is better for Heroic because you can build up stacks and as long as something has fire applied to it after you have built up Capacitor stacks, the Capacitor stacks will increase the amount of burn. Typically, secondary weapon will be something like a rifle or another weapon, preferably not an AR, that has perpetuation on it. This is very handy when dealing with status. It increases the damage as well as the duration by 50%. Very, very handy. You can get the Everlasting Gaze named rifle, which has perfect perpetuation. There's no real benefit to having perfect over normal other than the cooldown. It goes from like 20 seconds to 16 which is null and void. However, test subject here, getting one shot and then hitting them with a sticky or your chem launcher is going to give you a 40% increase. Capacitor does give more because it's 60%, but typically you don't have time to sit there and build up all of those stacks, typically, if you do it correctly at least. So you'd rather get that 40% than waste time trying to get to 60 on top of that, you might have also noticed that on test subject, I had it rolled to damage to armor, not damage to targets out of cover. Simple reason for this is your sticky, as well as your burn, as well as the fire chem, scale with damage to armor. They do not scale with damage to targets out of cover or damage to health. So considering the idea here is to burn things, you want damage to armor. This is one of the few areas where detox is not best in slot. Now to help with Chungas, we can run something like this where we implement Dodge City Holster. 
You can use D50 here. The idea behind this is literally just use the D50 or the Regulus to hit them preferably in the head because it's, I would say, easier to hit, but minimalistically. And it is just there to either crack them or just immediately kill them. You can then reapply burn or shoot them in the body or the head, wherever, just to get rid of them. That is the ideal scenario. Then finally, we have the specialization. Most of the time, you will want to run firewall even if you are putting yourself down to skill tier 5 that's fine for hard and challenging your skills will do more than enough especially like as i have i've used expertise so my burn sticky and burn chems will do more and especially on a full eclipse build with skill tier 6 my fire starter chems just outright kill they don't actually set things on fire they just kill which is Kind of a downside because if they're just straight up dead they don't have the chance to catch fire and then for the fire to actually spread either way the takeaway point for this is the chest and backpack for eclipse are the best pieces and then from here you can kind of customize what you want if you are struggling with areas that have chungas in or at least a frequent amount of chungas feel free to swap out for dodge city holster and if you're still struggling you can utilize Dodge City Holster with Technician to get yourself skill tier 6 as well. Anyway, that is just about going to do it for this video. Hopefully, if you've been struggling with the leagues, this will help you out. At least, hopefully, get a decent this time. But in the meantime, have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health.